Hey all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. I have a 2012 US made Strat on the bench here. And uh, it's been played, as you can see. And the fretware is significant. But just how much is it? You know, what do you think? Should those frets come out? Do they need to be replaced? Or do we have a candidate for a regular old fret dress? Well, let's, um, let's do the math, okay? So what we're looking at here is this is the third fret. And obviously this would be the, uh, the seventh. So we're looking at the meat of the wear. Uh, the guy plays hard. He's had it. He's had it for this guitar for a long time, and I want to share with you <clears throat> the process of how I determine what the correct uh, course of action is here. Let me say this first off: fretware always, always looks way worse than what it is, what it really is. Our eyes are wonderful organs but they can deceive us in terms of um what we you know perceive and unless we temper this uh information with empirical measurements we can't really justify it properly uh so i would say it like this the frets normally would be a dome i mean it's um a crown it's, it's a rounded surface what we're seeing here is the degradation of that rounded surface into a flat. And the funny thing with this particular instrument is... It still doesn't sizzle. It doesn't buzz crazy. Even with this amount of fretware. Because I got to tell the guy, I mean, dude... This guitar needs, it needs some fretwork, and it does. But I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll circle back to this thought in just a second. I want to get back to my, my original point here. I went up the neck to about the 14th, 15th fret area, and I measured on the base side the original fret height using my, my uh, feeler gauges here. And the, the original fret height, is 0 0.043 or 44 inches. Um, now you got to consider that way up the neck, you're not here. Let me let me move around here a little bit. Okay, hopefully I can get back to where I was. When you're up this high, you know this part of the neck here. I mean, who's going to wear the crap out of these frets? Who's going to wear them down to nubs? Only the best players in the absolute world world that are playing every inch of the fretboard. Generally, the average guy is only going to have minimal, minimal, minimal wear. And you can see if I move the, the strings around a little bit. I mean, there's like not a whole lot of wear going on up here, right? Compared to down here where we see significant wear. So um, up here, I can get a fair read on the original fret height. Probably factory would be 45 or 44 or something like that. For this fret wire it's medium jumbo by the looks of it for this generation anyway back to our task at hand so i measured it using my uh my my uh as i said my feeler gauges and now i want to and i've already gone through this so i'm just you know going through uh the the, the final process here um how i measured the uh the amount of wear and through trial and error, I found a combination of, of two feeler gauges, 18 and 17, which is a total of 30, 0.035 inches. Uh, and just by pressing them down and then against the fretboard and pressing the third string, because the third string is the one that's going to do all the damage it really is. Second string too, of course, but depending on the player. But the third string is doing all the damage. And... I can slide that under there and it's just, just touching, just touching the string. Just barely, barely touching the string. 
and likewise through here. So the worst wear points. I'm measuring the worst wear points and the string is just and, and so on through uh, this this high wear area. It's just barely touching the, uh, the cumulative uh, measurement of uh, 0.035 here. So what does that mean? Well, we have 0 .03, 043 inches uh, original, 0 0.035 inches uh, at our lowest wear point, which is a wear of 18.4%. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means there's still a fair bit of life left in these frets. They look horrible. Many people would say, oh, just tear them out, tear them out, they're no good. No, you gotta tear those, those are, those are gone, they're done, they're chewed. No, they're not. There is still uh, a, a, a good bit of life left in these. My rule of thumb is 35% wear, gone. Get them out. And this is nowhere near that. This is this is a prime candidate for a good dress. But after that, once they get to the same point, of course, it's going to change the, the fret overall fret height and feel is going to change as you get more into the wood. You're playing more into the fretboard, especially in these wider frets. Uh, and of course, the tools used to, to recrown are, are going to be, um, you know, at their at their limits. But um, this is not a lost cause. It looks way worse. What you're seeing there is roughly 18 plus percent wear of the original fret height. Keep that, keep that in mind. It's 18. Think about it for a second. Out of 100%, like the whole enchilada, if you take away 20%, well, that's, you know, that's not a whole lot. You know, in, in the context of things here, this isn't even 20%. But look how rotten that looks. Moral of the story is your fretware will always look a lot worse than what it really is. It's up to, to the judgment of the person who does your work on the instrument to make the call. I work from a com conservative point of view. I always want to retain as much original fret and playability on the original surface as possible before tearing the frets out because yes it's restorative in terms of replacing the frets but it is destructive in terms of the fret slot itself you're tearing it out there's always going to be tear out the wood fibers become compromised and even a, uh, a fret dress is destructive you're removing original fret height for the sake of a renewed playing surface. So we have to make some educated, intuitive, and knowledgeable decisions for the better of the instrument. Of course, it's you know you got to temper it with uh, with the the player. You know, I want them as as you know pristine as possible. Okay, fine. Okay, well we'll take them all out and we'll we'll uh, we'll you know do what we have to 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 make it all all nicey nice again. But anyway, point is, uh, I I just went through the process of. Uh, how do we determine the amount of wear and what does significant, in this case, significant wear look like? It's not extraordinary, but it's significant. And it still has useful life uh, once we get past the, uh, the, the leveling and crowning process. But that's for another day. Uh, this instrument's going to get a new set of strings, some tweaks, and uh, because it's not buzzing... It's not sizzling. So I'm going to just say to the guy, you know what? Play it out for another couple string changes. Uh, your bill is going to be commensurate with the amount of, uh, you know, leveling that has to be done, which is, you know, a fairly standard fee. But uh, let's, let's carry on as long as it's not giving you serious issues. And that's it. Anyway, as always, uh, play, you know, like, uh, sorry, uh, uh, read the uh, description below this video. Uh, lots of great resources there. There's free stuff on the website. Please grab it uh, and, and uh, use it to your advantage. Uh, as always, uh, play loud. Have a great day. Cheers.